Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. You know what it is and you know where you're at. So I don't even have to address it, right? Okay, good. We're going to go into the girls trip. Oh, look Kim's little season special, honey. This was a bunch of junk. Do you hear me? Season 1, episode 2 was all about Maya showing her raw ass on TV when it comes to shading a fellow um, sister girl or however you want to put it. It definitely wasn't the love boat. <laughs> it definitely was not the love boat. But I like how little Kim checked her. Yes. Little Kim stands up for her friends, okay? Because she said from the beginning, this was a girl's trip. This was a girl's bonding for friendship, for love. You know, just to be in unity with one another instead of showing, you know, women being catty, catty, catty. I know Kim tried her best to put that persona out there, but you're going to always have those people peeping through the bushes and trying to come out and take over what you started. Okay, again, like I said, this episode was not the love boat. Okay, it was drama. And I love the way Tiffany... I can't pronounce her last name, but we're going to call her Tiffany P. She was on point, honey. She was like, I'm going to enjoy this vacation because I know I look good. I know I got a good uh, career going on. I'm with my girl, LaKen. We're on this beautiful yacht. And my girl respects me. And she's not going to let nobody talk about me, whether I'm in the room with her or I'm out the room. I know she got my back. And she did, honey. Kim had your back. Now, Chili, we ain't going to talk about her too much because I tell you, she was in a grandmama dress or a schoolgirl's dress or she was just plain Jane, okay, at this little thing my call herself specializing in, little community service, little job she did for Barbados, little local people. She called herself up there trying to sing and party with the people and all this. But really, Maya just had a flop of a show. And if it was in production, I think people would have been talking about, give me my money back. Then she shaded this little woman called Tiffany P. Yes, Maya got her devil horns out. You see, she's in red, honey. That ain't nothing but the devil. I thought Maya was better than this, but she was catty, honey, after she finished her horrible performance because I couldn't even tell what she was singing up there. But Kim had to check her. Like, you ain't finna do my friend like that. But yes, after, finish, after Maya finished her performance, what little thereof was it, she called everybody to the skate stage, especially Kim, you know, and everything. You know, Kim, shoot, once she started talking, if you didn't know who she was, you're going to quickly remind yourself who she was. She's Queen B, baby. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I love myself and little Kim. She ain't never what four foot, <laughs> but she ain't never but a dynamite, ready to happen, ready to show out, show up, and take it all out. Okay? Shut it all down, how y'all say it. Yes, this is little Kim's world and step into it. Her little yacht, she don't rent it. The things she's trying to do going forward, it ain't never positive vibes. And like I said, she holds her friends down. And that girl named Tiffany, I don't know if she's an actress or model or whatever, but she's beautiful. She didn't get her heyday on season, well, episode two, but I'm giving it to her right now. And let's see why Chili should be jealous of Lil' Kim's best friend. I mean, do she wants to be Lil' Kim's best friend? I mean, she's already starring with Lil' Kim and Pretty V and B. Simone. They were just laughing and kicking up like, hi in the hell. They were talking with Chili about this, too. How you going to forget somebody's name and y'all on this big old boat? And it come to find out after them two try to make her confess or B. Simone was trying to make. No, I think it was Pretty B. Pretty V was trying to make her confess because they had separated each other in different little uh, transportation jeeps while they were touring to see where Rihanna stayed. They separated each other and it was like Lil' Kim and uh, uh, Maya and Pretty V. They was in their own jeep and then B. Simone, Chilla, and Char and Tiffany were in the other jeep. So they were just you know, chopping it up and stuff and tell, asking, you know, my, why she been so shady? Did she forget the girl name? Honey, Maya said, I, I, that's all I've been hearing is her name. I'm like, oh, my Lord, are you jealous of the girl, honey? Are you jealous? But let's just get on into the whole little um part two, or I should say, 
episode two of this. I don't know what it is because that's all I'm saying. Kim should have took the boat by herself and just brought all her little best girlfriends, not celebrity girlfriends, but just her regular everyday of the meal girlfriends and just treat them to a party. Because I'm telling Pretty V and B. Simone, <laughs> if they don't never get another vacation where they're cruising around, I don't know, the Caribbean, I think it was. I thought it was the Mediterranean, but I think it's the Caribbean Seas. They're going to enjoy themselves, and they're going to remember this, honey, put it in their memory banks and scrapbooks, okay? Because they may not get another chance to cruise free like this. And they partying it up. They're having fun. They're throwing uh, their cares to the wind, and they just enjoying the moment. But I tell you, we ain't going to talk about Chile because I don't know what she's doing. She acting like she's becoming Amish or something. Everything done shut down. But I did see when she was trying to party with <coughs> Ramon because Ramon was their little tour guide and he don't set up everything as far as performances, live performances, and just to get them in the Caribbean feel of how they get down in their little section of the world. Okay. And then she's gonna try to do some little salsa dancing with him, which was okay. It was, you know, it ain't how she could get down on the brother. But I'm like, Chile, you need to just really just pray to the Lord. And just let it be. Let him find the man for you. And just carry on with your life. You ain't got to be up there, you know, uh, dropping it low and spreading it wide. Or, you know, having revealing outfits. But you ain't got to look like you were looking like some, I don't know, school teacher or church choir teacher. I, I don't know where you're going with your outfits. Uh for this particular episode, I, I I don't know. It just gave me school teacher. And you're supposed to be out there feeling the breeze. And they got very good uh, low-key outfits. You ain't got to show everything, you know, that God gave you. You were blessed with, honey. You could cover it up. but still look nice. I mean, even my had on a little, you know, simple outfit. But it showed her curves. It wasn't uh, taste. I mean, tasteless. You know what I'm saying? Just tasteful. It was, you know. It was like a schoolgirl type dress. Nothing really showing or, or, or leaving to the imagination or whatever. I mean, you were leaving much to the imagination because she was covered and stuff. Wasn't no really flamboyant type looking, you know, pieces of uh, apparel she had on that was too revealing. But, I mean, you just got everything just, I don't know, like give you a coat, okay? And, and, and throw a rag over your head or something. I don't know what you were doing, but like I said, it's not here nor there. Let's just get back on into what I saw that I liked it and I want to talk about so we don't make this video too long, okay? We got Chili's man, you know, they out on the town. The men are actually going out with the women one night, you know, trying to chaperone them and show them a good time because this is Ron's area of life. This is where he was born, so he's cool with all that. And uh, they go out to some little bull riding place and, you know, uh, Chili's like, yeah, you know, she was like, I already attached this man. They don't put them together or something. I'm like, okay, all right. Maybe Chili's coming out her, you know, ways of exposing herself. I, I don't know, child. But anyway, she was rooting them on and everything. And he was trying to ride, but he eventually fell off. It was a cute little scene moving on from there. Then we got um, Jamie called himself. He's a little gay fella running around now. And he rode the bull re real well. And they were making little side jokes, especially little Kim. Like, I wonder why he rode it so well. You know what I'm saying? No pun intended. But I, I caught it. I caught it. It was a little kiki moment here and there. But, you know, he's a handsome young man. He was doing his thing. And he rode that bull, okay? Like a pro. Anyway, moving on from there. Then we got the women out enjoying the community. You know, they having a little part out of Rome. Constructed it up just for the show uh, of, you know, the uh, VH1 Special Girls crew. But, you know, he out, had all the local people out there. And, you know, Chili was, not Chili, but um, Maya was supposed to be performing, you know, on stage. And she was just taking everything, you know, at bay. She didn't want to overexert herself. She didn't want to talk too much. Because, you know, those people that can sing, they got to conserve their voice. And this, I think she was just doing too much. Okay, just have fun. All right, get up there and do an old little thing. 
and, and keep it moving, okay? Because, baby, I, I, don't, I don't know when the last time they checked for you, okay? I can't even remember. I mean, I see you as a model or something. I forget that you did have somewhat of a musical career, but it was just shortcoming, very short and indeed. And, you know, like I said, ain't nobody got nothing on you when it comes to your looks or your body. You're fabulous. But that damn attitude that I saw today makes you all the more uglier. Okay, you could be beautiful on the outside, but have an interior of ugliness, and it just feeds out. And that's all I got from you, uppity, snobbish, like, you know, oh, I look better, like a mean girl spirited, like you see in high school, elementary, you know what I'm saying? You might even see it in college here and there, but it's just too much, okay? I was like, girl, Maya, pipe down, you nice looking, you don't, you very reserved, you know, black don't crack on you, we got it, girl, but it's all the beautiful women out there, and Tiffany, she just signs so she just shines through. You know, I'm like, she loves everybody, okay? She ain't got to be up there with all you black women up there showing y'all ass and just down third, but she down with you, okay? Because that's how she like Lil' Kim. I don't know what her uh, culture is, her race is. I don't think. It might be a mixture of black and something else. Black and Italian, black, uh, Polish, black. I, I don't know. Nice looking woman, that's all I can say. But it seems like Maya got the devil horns out and because she did express that. That's all I've been hearing is Tiffany this, Tiffany that. I, you know, I'm like, okay, so why did you forget her name when you brought everybody on stage after your horrific performance, okay? Because I couldn't hear you. And it may have been because of the, um, what do you call it, how they had it set up. Maybe the mics weren't uh, tuned right or the stage wasn't correctly I don't know the the background I, whatever they do in the musical world trying to get a sage sound stage to sound right and, and everybody be able to hear it uh clearly but like I said I, like you were lip singing up there and then they had a little part towards the end where we did hear your but I mean girls like you just coming out like a little baby again so I'm like girl remember your heyday because that's all I got to say I might go and pull some albums out or, or some cds and just remind me of how you came to be in the entertainment industry that voice because i like i said i didn't hear it i couldn't hear it it wasn't static it's just it was nowhere it's just very low to where i didn't know what you were saying up there okay but throwing shade at one of kim's besties is not the way to form a friendship of sisterhood okay that's 101 in the class of uh behaving appropriately proper etiquette you know what i'm saying but anyway um the first time she got up on stage it was just a hot mess because the electrical they had a power failure and then she's gonna you know come off like you know i don't know she just got on my nerves pretty much somebody should just uh Sat her down and read her right there, but they waited till the next day. But anyway, moving on from her, Rome, after that um, performance or whatnot, he called. Well, it could have been before. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. He called Chilla up there, and they were trying to dance, and Chilla was, like, getting into the mood. You know, like I said, she was dressed very down. I didn't know, if she, you know, what was going on over there. You know, was Mother Teresa trying to dance with the devil? I don't know, you know, but it's just so awkward scene. Awkward. And, you know, she was trying to, like, dance in between his legs. I'm like, okay, see, you, you're trying to start something. You're saying you're trying to be this way, good in two shoes, trying to, you know, um, Pose yourself to be the right type of woman that a man want to marry, a wholesome, good, God-fearing man. That, but then you're trying to do something, run you in the bushes. You know, I saw you. I saw you, girl. I'm like, girl, okay, you might need to rethink this, get back on your knees, pray a little harder. And, you know, like I said, the whole I, uh, whole attire apparel she had on, it just threw me off. So let's just move on. Then we got... um. Charles waiting for Maya to perform. Okay, yeah, he was, you know, playing her up. I don't know where he's going to come and show us some of him. He's been uh, in the back burner, just like Tiffany, just trying to, you know, let look him do her thing. We're just there to support pretty much what Char and Tiffany are doing. And I'm there for it. You know, call me when you need me. You need me to say something. But other than that, I'm just enjoying the scenery. I'm going to keep it like that. That's how they've been playing it. So I haven't really been hearing a lot from them, but it is what it is. Uh, but like I said, my performance is kind of just uh, lackluster. Just gonna move on from that totally because I didn't like it. I didn't care for it. They couldn't. They didn't have to even show it. Uh, 
then we go back to where I was trying to figure out why Maya had said on episode one that, you know, when they was jumping off this little slide outside of the boat or side of the boat, that she was going to let her friends love her and she loved her friends. But I'm like, okay, so did you forget about what you did to Tiffany about a few minutes ago? Okay, when you forgot the girl's name and I don't even know why she called in about it to the stage, okay? They probably didn't even know who she was, but it just is what it is. Rome tried to hype it up as best as he could, but it just is what it was, okay? But then, like I said, she, you know, called uh, V, Pretty V up there, B Simone, you know, giving all their accolades. My uh, Chili, formerly known, you know, part of the girl group TLC. You know, of course, she highlighted uh, Kim and all that stuff. Then she comes like, well, I'm going to let you, invite, uh, you introduce your best friend. And I'm like, girl. Girl, girl, that was Shay on Shay. Um, that was really shitty. It wasn't no shade. It was just pretty shitty. So I don't know why Maya did what she did. Maybe they have some underlying tension between the two. Maybe they're going to let us see it in episode three. I don't know. But it was just a hot mess. Then we get back uh, after all that was done and said. Uh, Tobias and Jamie are in the kitchen cooking for the ladies. And they're talking about you know, last night and how they had a great time. I hope the ladies had a good time and this, that, and third. So, Ron got another trip for them planned out. He planned for them to go see where Rihanna grew up and this, that, and the third. And they go. And, of course, V, pretty V just acting an ass, you know, pretty much. But a good ass, you know what I'm saying. She was going about, you know, trying to uh, make Rihanna come out the house. No, Rihanna ain't at that house, child. It wasn't big as, I don't know, what Michael Jackson's house. Back in Gary, Indiana, very, very small. Okay, but that's how they got down back then. And we live today like that, too. And, you know, some of us, and it's okay. We got shelter, right? That's all it, 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 it means, shelter. Everybody needs shelter. It's better than being in a little hut or home than being on the side of the street, you know, in the environment. So that was a good thing. But like I said, you know, it's just real, real good. Um, I like it. But like I said, B. Simone and Pretty V, they have a beautiful uh, uh, attitude. I love it. I love it. And that's what Kim needs. Okay. Around her. No jealousy. No this, that, and that. No cat bite biting or uh, backbiting, cat fighting. You know, just hold some friends by you and ready to, you know, do what they have to do to secure your uh happiness, you know. So, good girlfriends there. But then, you know, like I said, um, you had Cam, not Cam, Cam. You had uh, B. Simone, Pretty V, and Chili in Chili's room talking about what had happened the night before. About did, was Maya drunk or did she actually forget Tiffany's name? And if she did, why... Why did she do it that way? So they all was kind of like having like a little kiki moment about whatever. But, you know, Chilla was like kind of squashed and said, you know, we're going to have to let her tell us. Because I don't know if she was drunk. I don't know if she just really forgot the girl's name because she was nervous. And, you know, they had messed up on her performance with the lights going out. So, you know, I don't know why she threw that kind of shade. But we'll work it out. We'll work it out. And like I said, uh, Kim tried to address it when they were going to see Rihanna's little place uh, where she stayed, her little childhood home, and they were going around and uh, a neighbor came out that used to know Rihanna when she was smaller and gave a little introduction of her little childhood and stuff, and then the lady kind of figured out who Lil' Kim was, and she was just like, wow, wow. you know, that's hard, and like, oh, I can't believe you're here, and Lil' Kim was just being very humble, very nice, and everything. Loved it, and she was like, she just wanted to represent because she represents Brooklyn all day, every day. So she know really goes hard for her homeland, and she just, you know, really loved it and stuff. But I liked how Lil Kim chat Maya for my act like she was Beyonce around now or the Queen of England, honey. Like she just had her nose up all in the air, like what she did, she did. She don't care that she did it. It was it needed to be done. She said that's your best friend. I ain't gonna have nothing to do with me. You know, I like girl. Why are you being so evil? Why are you, you know, you need to check yourself. But it didn't take long for Kim to figure out where she was going. So she checked her for Tiffany. Like, you ain't going to you ain't gonna treat my girl like that. Y'all need to get it together. This is a fun girl trip. We're supposed to be building on friendship, sisterhood, 
And, you know, just girls having your back when nobody else have, when the world is against you, your family against you. At least you got your girls, you know. I'm like, go ahead, Cam. Check her. Check her. Girl, check her. You know, I'm like, kick her butt. You know what I'm saying? Call the Coast Guard because you need to make an exchange. You need to have Chili picked up. And now you got to have Maya picked up, okay? Because they just running them up around there. They forget about why. Y'all are there. Why y'all set seat? Wait, why y'all set to the seas to sail or sail to the sea? Y'all know what I'm talking about, okay? But on a beautiful water, on a beautiful, in a beautiful, you know, island, and, and you, you, you putting up with people acting catty like that. It ain't like you just say, okay, let me just take you home. You know what I'm saying? No, you can't do that. You're stuck on the water. That's why I don't too much like cruises and stuff of that nature. Never been on one, plan on going on one, but it's going to be a three day. But I don't like to be, I, don't, I really don't like to be away from land too long. Because when I get tired of people, I do get tired of you. You know what I'm saying? So I need to breathe. I need to be by myself. You know, I like intimate type situations with good friends, you know, good family members and stuff of that nature. I don't like a big parade of people and, and, and just too much noise going on. You know what I'm saying? This was like intimate setting for the girls to react, bun and all that stuff. And then you got Chili acting like, you know, Mother Teresa up there. But we're going to we're gonna get off on her because, I, you know, I got on her last video, and I, I you know, it just is. She giving me what she giving me, so I just have to play it by ear with her. But this whole debacle of a mess with Maya acting like, you know, she owns everything, and she's Miss God running around there. And, I mean, she, I don't know what kind of complex she had, but it was totally opposite from what I saw on episode one. And I'm not liking this. I'm not liking Maya's persona she giving me. But I'm like, just throw her overboard. <laughs> completely just throw her overboard don't give her a life raft let her get out of her own mess okay because she did she was a hot mess but anyway that's all i had for girls trip what it was kind of lackluster but it showed me another side of miss maya you know sometimes you got to reserve your opinions on people because they will surprise you and like i said i was just you know giving her her kudos and all this that and third on episode one and then she turned and i had to like do a double take like see that's what i'm saying you can't always give people their flowers all at one time you gotta watch them you know what I'm saying? Because they might change your phone. And then you might have to maneuver and change your phone they behind. Because right is right and wrong is wrong. And you don't deliberately treat somebody with disrespect the way she did Tiffany P. I'm ashamed. I'm, I'm, I'm ashamed to be my own race, to be even knowing her the way she treated this young lady. That's terrible, terrible. So I'm looking for episode three to be a little better and a little making up, but it don't seem like it from the little slide that they gave us of the next preview. Okay, we might see some cat fighting. I don't know. But Kim might be doing the cat fighting on Maya behind. But it just is what it is. Okay, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. You know I'll be back with another one giving you my opinionated opinion on what I'm looking at. Okay, y'all be blessed and I'll talk to you next video. Mm -hmm. Good night.